Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. My name is Miranda and I am a 28 year old cash budgeter um, and today I decided that I'm going to be very vulnerable here on the internet and um, share with you all my debt confession. Um, one of the reasons that I decided to start cash budgeting is because I was just going with my credit cards and my debit card and swipe, swipe, swiping because I, how do I explain it? I didn't think about how the money was real at those points. It was out of sight, out of mind. I wasn't checking things. So I was just spending and spending and spending. Um... So I decided to make things more tangible for myself and start cash budgeting. And through that journey, though I'm not perfect with it, I am really trying to reduce the amount of credit card debt I have as well as other debts. Um, so yeah, I wanted to be really vulnerable here on YouTube so that I can share with you all what I'm going through as well as hold myself accountable for reaching my goals and trying to get rid of my debt. Um, so, yeah, I guess we will, I'm going to add another page. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Go here, add page. So my debt is all in credit cards, my car loan, and my student loans. Um, my car loan and my student loans are less of a priority for me because they are larger loans and I'm just paying on the minimum for them because that's what we can do right now. But also, how cute is this coffee mug? I got it when I graduated undergrad. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's a little Erlenmeyer flask because I triple majored in um, sciences. Didn't end up doing that with my career because now I work in higher education. Um, but I just think it's so cute and I forgot I had it and I pulled it out again this morning. Didn't anticipate making a nice coffee, but the mug was a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought it was when I started making my coffee. But anyway, so I have four credit cards. Ooh, that is too big. Let's reduce this to... Nope, just a little bigger. So I have four credit cards. I have a credit card through my bank, Chase, and that current balance is, ooh, what is it, $4,838.42. And I have a maximum credit line of $16,600. My minimum payment for this credit card is a dollar, not a dollar fifty, one hundred and fifty dollars per month. My second credit card is my Discover card, and this was the first credit card I ever opened. Can you all see that? Um, was the first credit card I ever opened when I was in undergrad to start building my credit, and that credit or the balance currently on that is $5,941.90 with a total of $17,500 as my credit line and a minimum of $140 per month. My fourth credit card is a TJ Maxx credit card TJ Maxx, Homes Goods, Marshalls, that family of, of stores. And that currently has a balance of $0 because I only use it for very specific things when I go to those places. Um, and I don't remember what the total line is on that. But it, it doesn't really matter to me because I don't use it very often. And then my fourth credit card is a Best Buy credit card. Again has a zero balance because I only use it for specific things and I recently paid that one off. Um, again, I don't remember the minimum or the um, total available credit line that I have on that one, 
but my minimum was $30 with that one. Um, the other debts I have, oops, credit cards. The other debts I have are my car note. And right now I owe seventeen thousand three hundred and sixty three and sixty eight dollars my minimum every month is a four hundred and seventy dollars it's actually four hundred and sixty nine some change but i always round up because that just makes it easier and look prettier in my account um and my student loans this is the number that really heart hurts me every time i look at it is $64,118. And I don't remember what my minimum payment is on this. I want to say it's roughly $250 a month, but that's not starting again until August. So I'm not too concerned about that one. So what I've decided I want to do to take care of this debt and pay it off as quick as I can without putting too much financial burden on me that's extra than what I'm currently doing is I'm going to do the debt snowball method. So go back here. So what I'm going to do is, and if you haven't heard of the debt snowball method, essentially you're taking the smallest loan that you have so that is currently my Chase credit card. Oops. Move there. My Chase, good Lord. My Chase credit card. And I'm going to be making the minimum payment on this every month. So I'll make a $150 payment to it every month. And then I'm going to add on the extra so when I was paying my credit card sorry this is very confusing when I was paying my just my best buy credit card I was doing a minimum of $30 because that was the minimum and an extra of 80 so that's 110 so now that I paid this one off I'm going to be taking the total amount that I paid on this one and adding it into an extra payment on my Chase credit card every month so, right, I'm going to be doing, Chase is going to be getting, what's the easiest way to do this? So Chase is going to be getting an extra 110 every month. And then, you can hear my cat in the background. And then after I pay all of this off every month, all of this off, I'm going to move that to my Discover card. So I'm going to make the $140 payment every month plus an extra $110 plus $150, so an extra $260 per month. And then after I pay off my Discover card, the next highest balance will be my car note. So I'll pay $470 plus an extra 260 plus 140. What is that? $400 per month. Now, am I expecting to complete all of this in a year? And then after I do all this, then then I'll move to those. But am I expecting to do all this in a year? Absolutely not. That's completely unrealistic in the, with the money that I have coming in and the money that I have going out every month. But I really want to pay off at least one credit card this year. So I'm really taking as much as I can with the extra income, like if I sell things on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or anything like that, um, and putting extra money towards my credit card so that I can pay things off a little quicker, boost my credit score, which is already in the good category, but I want it to be better because eventually when my partner and I um, decide we want to move out of an apartment and into a house, we want to be ready and stable and not have any issues when they come to running any of our stuff. So 
yeah, that's really my end goal is to pay off at least one credit card this year. And I really think that I can do it. I have been really sticking to my plan, which is why I was able to pay off this Best Buy one um, earlier than what I was anticipating, um, which is nice because it was still in the 0% interest um, period of that credit card. But yeah, um, that's my goal. And I hope to do some check-ins every once in a while to kind of update you all on how things are going. I do have, um, and I need to update these because they're a little behind. Um, but I did create spending trackers when I started going through this journey. Um, see, this is my Best Buy card and it shows that I paid it all off. I colored in all the circles after I did every, all of that. And I have one for my Discover card as well. Not as many things are colored in because I haven't, I wasn't putting all my focus on this card as well as my Chase card. Again, not as many things are colored in because these balances are higher and I'm only doing 150 per circle. Um, but yeah, these are what's going to help me keep on track as well as you all uh, pushing me to do my best to pay off these debts. That is it for t um, this video and I appreciate you all for watching and I hope you come back again. Bye!